Johnny Two Face here, back with another reaction video. I know it's been a while. I apologise. This time I'm reacting to Fluffy Visit Saudi Arabia from Gabriel Iglesias, and um, the link to the original video will be in the description down below. Please go, go subscribe and check out more content from great, sorry, Gabriel Iglesias because he is quite funny. I've seen a few of his videos and I've reacted to one of his videos. So let's uh, waste some time. Let's get into this. And oops, sorry, nearly forgot. God, I've done this for a little while. Let's get into this. Um... Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Gabriel Iglesias. Oh my God, it's Fluffy. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm here hanging out in San Diego, California, getting ready for my wow. big show tonight. As you can see, it's really big. Uh, <laughs> it's not really big. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, so, anyways, you guys, this uh, this weekend is the encore presentation of my special Aloha Fluffy uh, on Comedy Central. Now, Comedy Central is only uh. available in the U.S. So, for the rest of you worldwide, I want to give you guys a nice big sneak peek of wow. the uh, of the special that is going to be eventually available. <laughs> on uh, DVD or if you hack it or however you get it but mm. I like to know that I'm I'm giving this one to you guys to mm. enjoy so check this out this is my story about me going to Saudi Arabia and uh, you'll see there's a surprise at the end because I wasn't expecting this either so enjoy and please wow. share it have fun it's 23 minutes long so get ready <laughs> my agent calls me up and he says Gabe check it out you're getting a request to perform in the Middle East I go really okay cool army Navy Marines Air Force who Actually, the request is coming from a prince. Run that by me again. A prince. I said, Wow. Purple rain? <laughs> Not prince. A prince. Wow. I said, How do they know me? I, I, I don't know, but they say that they know you and they want to <laughs> hire you. I go, It sounds like a joke, Matt. Trust me, it sounds legit. All right. If it's legit, I'll tell you what. Give whoever a ridiculous figure and let them know that they have to wire the money today. Otherwise, forget it. Four hours wow. later. Gabe. What? Ridiculous just called. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm looking at the screen, bro. They wired all of it. Next thing I know. Welcome aboard Saudi Arabian Airlines. <laughs> Oh, that is brilliant. 17 hour flight, you guys, from Detroit, Michigan to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. And just so you guys know, I didn't go by myself, okay? I took some friends with me. Nobody from this show. I can, I can guess why. <laughs> For obvious reasons. So Martin Bingo. With everybody's hairy, big nose, goatee, beard, crazy <laughs> eyes, this. Are you kidding me? With the, all of us, we're like Osama Bin Lopez. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what the hell bin Lopez. <laughs> so I took two other friends. I took one friend, his name is Edwin San Juan, who's Filipino, works clean. Wow. Oh yeah. And another buddy of mine named Larry Omaha, who's Native American, who also works clean. And uh all right, so hell yeah, sure. <laughs> Hold on, I want to look at the camera. Hey, Larry yeah. Omaha, Edwin said, one, you guys have fans and they're here in Hawaii. Get your asses over here. Anyway, um, <laughs> so we head to Riyadh, 17 hour flight from Detroit. As soon as we get there, they flew us their first class, by the way. It was really nice. And the plane is pulling up to the gate and you know, it's doing the whole, you know, and the tube is coming out to meet the plane. As soon as the tube touches the plane, all of a sudden, the door on the opposite side of the plane, pops open and a man in a suit gets on and he walks over to the three of us and he does this <laughs> and I'm sitting there freaking out like oh my god this is like the movies <laughs> and they pulled us off the plane and they wow. escorted us to this area called VIP baggage claim and it sounds wow. kind of crazy, VIP, and I get there and I realize, oh they're, they're serving cookies and candy and coffee and there's leather <laughs> sofas and it's really nice and there's Nothing but Middle Eastern businessmen there, okay? And they're <laughs> all talking about me. I don't understand Arabic, but everyone in this room understands when someone's talking about you. The guy's looking at me and he's like, I'm sorry, but this is universal. Yeah, pretty much. And apparently this is Arabic for damn! <coughs> Excuse me. So 
So then this other guy walks over to me and he's holding a sign and the sign has my name on it and he's really excited. He's like, it is you, come, 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 it is you, come, 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 we go. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So we grab our luggage and we follow him outside to the curb. They have three Lincoln Navigator SUVs wow. waiting for us. There's three comedians and there's three cars. We're so paranoid that we're in the <laughs> Middle East, we all get in one car. <laughs> we're sitting in there. <laughs> Must be a tight squeeze. And we take off. We're heading towards downtown Riyadh, okay? Now, all I know up to this point about my experience is that I've already been paid, my <coughs> flight's been taken care of, and I have a point person who I'm supposed to meet at the airport who's not there. So I'm talking to the driver, I said, excuse I mean, me, that sir, can where's, 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 where's this guy? It is okay, hey, take it to him, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, uh, okay, and for me it's not okay because I researched mm. Saudi Arabia, and you know, you think the rules in Singapore are strict. <laughs> the rules in Saudi Arabia are very, very different, okay? Mm -hmm. And I don't want to offend anyone, and I want to make sure that I don't say the wrong thing. So and I I'm sure know, mostly you know, for so religious I reasons. I need some info. So I keep talking to the driver, I said, um, Sir, would you mind helping me with some questions? Whatever you need, you ask, I tell you. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I apologize in advance if I come across rude or disrespectful or ignorant, but um, how do you guys know about me here in wow. the Middle East? What do you mean, how do we know? Yeah, how do you know that I'm a comedian? Do you have Comedy Central or HBO or Showtime? What is that? That's a no. That's what that is, that's a no. Um, how do you know that I'm an entertainer? Wow. Oh, your videos. YouTube, my friend YouTube, you're huge. Yeah. You're the number two most famous comedian in all of the Middle East. Number two. Number two, you're wow. Kidding. I am not comedian. I don't kid. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm the number two most famous comedian in all of the Middle East. Yes! Who's number one? Jeff Dunham. <laughs> <laughs> Way to throw that in there. Jeff Dunham is the number one comedian in the Middle East. You guys don't find him at all offensive? <laughs> oh, no. I kill you. Way to laugh, Nadine. When I heard that, you guys, I was like, you know what? They get it. They get it. So I'm like, we're cool. We're sitting, we're driving, we're heading towards downtown. All of a sudden the driver cuts the wheel really hard and we get off the freeway and now we're taking a side road going away from the city. And I'm like, oh, excuse me, where are we going? We're going to this show. I go, um, it says here that we're staying in the city. Yes, you're staying in the city, but the show is somewhere else. That doesn't make sense. Why would you have the show somewhere else? How come you don't have it in the city? And then he broke it down. My friend. Here in Riyadh, it is very different, okay? Uh, your type of entertainment is forbidden in the city. There yeah. are people called religious police that hold up the uh, tradition. Again, they keep religion. it so that it's very but, traditional. Hey. It is not allowed. The social gathering is a no-no. We must go somewhere secret to a faith. in the desert. I suppose. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so how many people are you guys expecting in, at the show? Easily between seven to eight hundred people. That many? I told you. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> I love that hand sure signal. Enough, you guys, we pull up to this racetrack in the middle Don't of the desert, why. and there's a, there's a giant tent set up next to it, and there's there's eight hundred people roughly there for a comedy show. And as soon as we pull up, as soon as we pull up, <laughs> radios start popping out. Just very. <laughs> And I keep hearing on all the radios, fluffy, 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 fluffy. All of a sudden, some guy runs up on the stage and they hand him a microphone and he starts yelling to the crowd. I don't know what he's saying, but I've seen enough hip hop to recognize a hype man. Oh, yeah, hype man. Oh, yeah, he's out there. <laughs> And then I get the biggest introduction of my life. And now, direct from the United States of America, here he is, Gabriel Iglesias. And the crowd starts going, Fluffy, Fluffy, Fluffy. 
<laughs> and when I heard that, I freaked out. I was like, oh my god, this. Oh, uh, here we go. I just lost. Ah, oh, it. Trusted to do it that now. This is gonna be an amazing show. Ah, here so we go. I ran to the stage as fast as I could. Oh. I'm not a runner. I booked it to the stage, you guys, because I was so excited. Hang on. And when I got to the front, it clicked. That Sorry, I, I hate it when it goes on automatic. It's like, you know, it's like if you buy something and all of a sudden it goes, the person who's selling you stuff goes, no, that's not what you want. I'm like, yeah, it is what I want. I'm a boy. That in Saudi Arabia, they still have segregation. And I didn't find out until the yep. last second because I saw... As I said, I'm trying to be respectful of other cultures here, but... Down the middle. And on one side, men. Other side, women. And all the women in the front wow. row were covered from head to Barkers. toe. All I saw was this. Pillbox. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Didn't I had no song. idea I was performing for Assassin's Creed. I did well, That was a barker. But it's their faith, so... I'm non-religious, by the way, so... Oh, here we go. Sorry for the lower quality, but for some reason, might. Right. Sorry, let me just bring that back. We're right. covered from head to toe. All I saw hmm. was this. Oh, yeah. I had no idea I was performing for Assassin's Creed. I didn't know. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Oh my god. I suppose it is kind of weird when you... threw me off so bad. Give me the <sighs> and I... Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you... Hmm. Hmm. I froze. I've been doing this for 15 hmm. years. I don't freeze, but that threw me off so... Hmm. Oh, God, here we go. Bad. I didn't know what to say. All of a sudden, mm. men start yelling my jokes at me. My friend, do the donkey, do the donkey. Hey, chocolate cake, chocolate cake. Mm. Guy in the front, make fun of me. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to understand different cultures and of young. People started laughing. The women were laughing just as hard as the men. You know, granted, some of them I couldn't see, but for the most part, it's like, and I'm not yeah. trying to be disrespectful. You know, but they're no, it's just laughing. trying to get used to their culture. One of the girls. I said, oh, I saw your neck. He said, you're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> the Saudis had such an amazing sense of humor. Wow. They were laughing and carrying on, and I had no idea they were going to be like that. Wow. And then after the show, I got a chance to meet some of the locals. Wow. And one guy was almost in tears. He was so emotional. He walks up to me, and he's just like... <laughs> I cannot believe that I am standing here in front of you, Mr. Fluffy. Oh, that's, that's sweet. Well, thank you. Please, please, when you return to United States or wherever you travel, let the people know what you saw, okay? Let them know that we are not all bad, that we are not all those bad people from Fox News, okay? <laughs> you let them know, because we oh, see dear. Fox News, and Fox News... As I said, I'm British, so I'm no... I don't watch Fox News. Terrorist. Everybody has a bomb. He has a bomb. He has a bomb. He has a bomb. <laughs> Oprah is here giving away bombs to everybody. Everybody. I thought he was going to do a De Donald Trump impression then. Please, you let them know. We are not all bad people, okay? We are not all terrorists. <laughs> My cousin. Maybe. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look at your face. Look at your face. Oh, I'm going to die. Look at you. <laughs> A plane? What plane? I got you again! Do for do, I got you! He is raising my blood pressure every seven seconds. <laughs> and then he starts breaking it down for me how stand-up comedy is starting to bring people together in the Middle East. I hope and so. And how he's starting to, you know, he's doing comedy. It's, it was crazy, the conversation. You know, here in, the, in Saudi Arabia, um, 
people they, they like uh, watching the, the stand up comedy because uh, we love to laugh. Okay, mm. we love to laugh. It's great to laugh. And uh, people don't think that uh, people in Middle East have sense of humor. They, they see no, videos, they see TV, they think we are the same. They say, oh, in Middle Eastern people are all angry. Look at their face, they're angry. Everybody angry. Usually when it comes to not laughing, angry. they associate okay. with Germans. Angry is hot. <laughs> okay, it's 117 degrees. Everybody is not mad, they're hot. Look at everybody has a hot face. Hot face. Everybody hot face. I promise you give me air conditioning. I am so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> we are okay. We love to laugh. I've been doing the stand up comedy for uh, about six months now, and um, I have jokes. Good for you. May I try? Oh, great. <laughs> All right, man, go ahead. Okay, very nervous, very nervous. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay here we go. <sighs> Two Jews walk into a bar. Not in my country. <laughs> hey man, you're gonna get my ass arrested, bro. <laughs> we wound up doing shows all over the Middle East. We were in uh, Riyadh, Bahrain, Dubai, Qatar, Doha, wow. and each show, you guys, was more amazing than the last show. Not because there were so many people. But because the people were friendly, mm. they were fun, they got all the references, I couldn't get over that. I honestly thought that well. they were going to be like the people from Fox News. Mm. And I felt terrible. I felt terrible yeah. because I was judging them. I was prejudging them and mm -hmm. I thought that they were going to be a certain way. And I felt bad because all those years it's people so were harsh thing, me, but... not really giving me a chance. And I was over there doing the same mm. thing. I felt so bad. And then when I met mm. the prince, I was still judging. 19 mm. years old. And he's a prick. Wow. Oh, here we go again. Buffering. Yeah. Right, sorry about this. 19 years old, and he's a prince. I thought he was going to be a brat. Wow. He walks up to me, and I was already like, what's up? <laughs> <sighs> I failed to realize that he's a prince and he was brought up to be a prince wow the way he carried himself he intimidated me in about 18 seconds okay i'm 36 and i'm you know what's up and he's like jibril excuse me jibril jibril gabriel wow. i understand that your name is gabriel but in the Ah, oh, buffering. Arabic language, your name is Jibril. I was welcoming you in our wow. language. Oh! Mm. I'm a dick. Mm. Makes you feel like that. And I started already imagining what was going to happen. Mm. <laughs> ah! Jibril! <laughs> Jibril! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And he was so nice, yeah. you guys. He's like, I want to thank you for coming here to Riyadh and doing all of these shows. Yeah. It was so beautiful to see everyone having such an amazing time, yeah. from the little children in attendance all the way to the elderly people with the cane. Yeah. Everyone had an amazing time. Everyone. Yeah. It was beautiful. Okay? Beautiful. Yeah. Religious people laughing. Wow. Oh, here we go. Religious police laughing. They don't laugh at shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to understand how big this is. Wow. There was an American here entertaining people from Middle East. Wow. There was no violence, no bloodshed, no wow. problems. Everybody was smiling. Everybody was getting along. It is possible. An American was here. An American was here. He kept saying American, American, American. Freaking 10 years being called a Latino comic. I had to go all the way around the world to finally get called American. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's probably... <laughs> wow. I was excited. I was like, say it again. American. Ah! <laughs> and then I had the most surreal conversation wow. I have ever had with the person. He looks at me and he says, I want to thank you for everything. Wow. I want to invite you and your friends to come to my palace 
so that I may entertain you. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I am not getting invited to a palace by a prince. Oh my God, up until this point, my only experience with royalty was a Burger King drive through <laughs> All of a sudden, one of those SUVs through. pulls up, <laughs> and a guy jumps out in a suit, and I guess his favorite word was please, because that's all he said. Please. 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 I'm like, are you kidding me? There's a man in a suit trying to... Oh, internet. This is going to be fun. Trying to finish this video. Uh, but as I was saying, yeah, it's if you're not used to cultures from other countries, it can throw you off big time. I mean, I can't afford to travel abroad, and especially with this coronavirus pandemic going on, it's like. It's like, um, Gator and don't think I'll get a chance. No. Was palace. I'm not gonna lie, I felt like a hot chick. Mm. I, I was like, oh my god, let's go! <laughs> 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 Hurry up, bitch, let's go! Mm. We get to the front of his palace, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, it didn't look like a palace. The walls are really high, there's barbed wire around the what? entire property, and there's two guys in the front with machine guns. <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm like, this doesn't look like a palace. <laughs> and I started thinking, what if I'm on some messed up episode of Middle Eastern punk? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you don't go to palace, you go to prison, you're punk! <laughs> Fortunately, the doors opened up and we drive in and then they closed. And when we got outside, you guys, what we saw was amazing. Mm. Outside, desert. Inside, palm trees, bushes, shrubs, a wow. pond, and he had exotic pets. I know exotic wow. pets, because I know what I have. <laughs> <laughs> Over there? <laughs> He's got a tiger! <laughs> freaking zebra! <laughs> Monkeys! And he had a freaking boa constrictor. I'm like, are you kidding me? Snakes, monkeys, a zebra, and a tiger? Oh my god, that makes me Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. And I started thinking, what if he decides to keep me? <sighs> it sounds messed up, but let me explain. As an American, you cannot just purchase an airline ticket to go to Saudi Arabia. You have to be invited by a person of power. You know, when I left Detroit to go over there, I had to fill out a form that says, I understand that I'm going to Saudi Arabia. And should something happen to me, one of those things on the list being kidnapping, conveniently right above death, America is not responsible. The prince could have actually, you're mine. Two weeks later, now he's showing someone else around, right? <laughs> that is my snake, that is my zebra, that is my Mexican, that is my tiger. <laughs> Inside of some little box, it says Jibril. <laughs> but it never happened. Oh. And we're walking around, and I actually pulled him aside for a second. I said, listen, uh, I gotta tell you something. Well, you tell me. I, I need to apologize. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I just want to apologize for coming here with the wrong mentality. I says, unfortunately, I thought that, uh, yeah, just, you know, because it is the Middle East, I thought you guys were going to be rude. And everybody's been nothing but nice. Huh? I know. I didn't think you guys were going to speak English so well and <laughs> understand, you know, so many references and you guys get everything. Uh, yeah, as I said, it's very hard to understand cultures if you've never been to these countries and sorry about this this is ridiculous I'll try and see if I can edit these out sorry about this
Huh? I know. I didn't think you guys were going to speak English so well and understand, you know, so many references and you guys no. get everything. Huh? I know. I thought you guys were going to throw rocks. But you were funny. Huh? What? Huh? Never mind. Two out of three, why? <laughs> so we're walking. And uh, he's showing me this and that, and we're just kind of like looking around. I thought it was great, and then I saw something that freaked me out. Huh. We're walking in the direction of a giant cage. And when I saw the cage, I stopped. I was like, ah! Uh, what's with the cage? Take a look. Great. <laughs> so I walk over towards the cage, and I look inside, and I notice that there's birds in there. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, it's a bird cage. And he got all offended, you know? That's not regular birds. Those are falcons. Wow. Like, okay, well, you have a lot of falcons. Well, you use the falcons for hunting. You hunt falcons? No, 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 no. They, they use falcons for hunting. That's, that's a very ancient Each ancient falcon hunting is very technique. expensive. 100,000 US dollars. They are trained. We go out and we shoot a little animal, and we send a falcon to retreat. Wow. Would you like to see? No, 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 no. I got little dogs. I don't <laughs> Bye, Bruno! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, would be nice if it stopped buffering. No, 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 I got little dogs. I don't want <laughs> Bye, Bruno! <laughs> Before I know it, here comes the other guy. Please, please, please. And he goes inside the the cage and he puts on this leather glove that comes up to his elbow and he starts getting one of the falcons i'm watching oh. internet before i know it here comes the other guy please please sorry please. for the please button and he goes inside the cage and he puts on this leather glove that comes up to his elbow and he starts getting one of the falcons i'm watching him do this and i notice all the falcons are on these perches about this high and mm. There's about 15 in a row, and they all have hoods covering their eyes. And I asked them, why do they have hoods on their eyes, man? They look like little hostages. <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I meant no disrespect by that, man. Wow. Seriously. No. No disrespect. You did. I, that was a slip. And he was cool. I understand. Middle East hostage. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's worse, I think. So the other guy comes out and he's got a falcon with him and he's got a glove and he hands me the glove and I put it on and he transfers his falcon to my arm. And uh, all of a sudden he starts doing snapping things and he's basically showing me that the falcon's trained. And I thought that was great. I thought we were gonna kill something. I'm like, no, but we were just playing with the falcon. And I started getting excited, you know? And the more excited I got, the more the prince started showing his, his age. Because then he got excited. I'm like, this is great. It is great. Yes, this is so cool. So cool. <laughs> My God, you're so lucky to have so many falcons. I am so lucky. <laughs> would you like a falcon? <laughs> so matter of fact, like, would you like a cookie? Would you like a falcon? Same way. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Don't give me a falcon that can retrieve things. Shoo, you think I'm lazy now. <laughs> <laughs> way to put it out there. Hell no. Don't give me a... Oh, no. I wouldn't even leave the house. I'd be at the front door. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it must take some considerable skill to to train such creatures. I know I'm being Captain Obvious here. Sorry, I'm just trying to fill the gap while my just trying to help fill the gap while my internet keeps buffering. Damn. The house, I'd be at the front door. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and who the hell is going to watch my falcon when I'm up here performing? I can't <laughs> leave it with my buddy Martin in the back. <laughs> oh, God. Imagine leaving a falcon with Martin. Buddy Martin in the back. 
You know he would abuse it, take it to some nightclub, try to hook up with it, freaking here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that loud music would torture an animal like that. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm no expert. Sorry for abuse it, take it to some nightclub, try to hook up with it, freaking here. <laughs> watch my falcon when I'm up here performing I can't leave it with my buddy Martin in the back you know he would abuse it take it to some nightclub try to hook up with it freaking here <laughs> the redhead <laughs> <laughs> no, that wouldn't surprise me and that'll do it that that's that's a very funny video sorry if I didn't show it um but that was quite a funny video and yes and I can understand like you know if you don't understand these cultures unless you've been there well I can never afford to travel so go figure anyway but this is another funny video from Gabriel Glazius if you like this reaction video please like comment and subscribe and I'll and I'll upload more videos as soon as possible